looking for a new Kenmore appliance? Well, here are a few tips you need to know before you buy to make shopping quick and easy. The first and most important tip is to double check your measurements so there are no surprises on delivery day. Measure the height, width, and depth of your space. Measure the width from top to bottom, accounting for molding or trim, and note the narrowest measurements. Make sure to measure the space and not just your old appliance. You'll also need a little breathing room around the appliance. For instance, a refrigerator requires about two inches of space between the wall and the back of the unit, an eighth of an inch on the sides, and about one inch on top. Take into consideration any hinges on the appliance and make sure the doors and drawers have enough clearance to open fully. Laundry pairs need about three to four inches of breathing room in back and an inch on either side. Check to see that lids and doors can also open fully. It's also a good idea to walk the path of your home and measure the narrowest points in hallways and doorways so your appliance doesn't get stuck on the way in. The delivery team will bring all the necessary cords, hoses, and accessories for your new appliance, but you'll need to make sure your home has the right connections. Safety regulations require gas appliances to have a gas shutoff valve within three feet of the unit. Washers also require a nearby shutoff valve. And refrigerators with ice and water dispensers need a water line already in place to complete the installation. Now you're ready to start shopping for your new Kenmore appliance. If you have any questions about which models are right for your home, contact us at customer support at Kenmore.com. Kenmore, be amazing. How to choose green appliances. As your current appliances die of old age, make sure you replace them with energy efficient ones. You will need time to comparison shop. Step one, the easiest way to find green appliances is to look for the Energy Star logo, which indicates that the model far exceeds the federal minimum requirements for energy efficiency. Step two, compare the energy guide, a sticker that indicates the energy efficiency of the product on models you like. Step 3. Know some basic guidelines like front-loading washers are usually more efficient than top-loading ones, side-by-side -side fridge freezers are better than freezer-on-top models, and manual defrost freezers use nearly half the energy of self-defrosters. If your fridge is more than 10 years old, consider investing in a new one. Modern models use half the energy, and skip the energy-draining water and ice dispensers. Step 4. Make sure any dishwasher you buy has an air drive feature and use it. If your current dishwasher doesn't have an air dry option, just open the door after the final rinse. Step five, if you do a lot of cooking, consider an oven with a second, smaller unit on top. It will save more energy than having a separate toaster oven. Now you yourself are an energy star. Did you know running a full dishwasher uses less water than hand washing?